Hello, this is Rohit, and we will be solving the problem Math One Enrollment. Its difficulty level is Cakewalk, and it requires observation. It appeared in Starters Forty Six. For the upcoming semester, the admins of your university decided to keep a total of X seats for the Math One course. And a student interest survey was conducted by the admins, and it was found that why students were interested in taking up the Math One course. So, our task here is to find the minimum number of extra seats. That the admins need to add into the math one course, so that to make sure that every student who is interested in taking the course would be able to do so. For our input, the first line will contain an integer t, which is the number of test cases, and then for each test case, we will have two space separated integers x and y. X is the current number of seats up for enrollment, and y is the number of students interested in taking up the course in the upcoming semester. And for output, we have to print a single integer, which is the minimum number of seats required to be added. So now let's have a look at the sample test cases. Consider the first case where x is one and y is also one. Okay. So there are one. There, there is only one seat available for enrollment, and the number of interested students is also equal to one. So in this case, we won't need to reserve. Or add any extra seat, so the answer in this case would be zero. Consider the second test case where x is twelve and y is thirty-four, which means there are only twelve seats available, and the interested number of students is equal to thirty-four. So in this case, we would need thirty-four minus twelve extra seats, because from thirty-four, twelve students can go and use the twelve seats which are remaining, and therefore the extra seats that would be required would be. 34 minus 12, which is 22. So the answer is 22 in this case. And so on now for case three, where we have x as 50 and y as 49. So in this case, the number of seats available is 50, and interested number of students is equal to 49. So as there are more seats available, we don't need to add any extra seats, and therefore the answer in this case would be zero. And for the final test case, we have x as forty nine and y as fifty. So as there are forty nine seats available, and there are fifty students who are interested, so the extra seats would be fifty minus forty nine, and the answer is one. So in this case, we can see that or see that only one student would be left with no seat, and therefore we need to add one more seat for that student. The answer is one in this case. So now let's look at the algorithm and also write the pseudo code. So for each test case, we have two integers x and y. So we take the input, and then we consider our cases. So the first case is where the number of seats available is greater than or equal to the number of students who are interested in the course. So if x, which is the number of seats available, is greater than or equal to the number of students who are interested, the answer would be zero in this case. This is because we won't need to add any extra seat, and we can see that in this case, in this case where the answer was zero. And otherwise, the number of students interested would be greater than the available number of seats. And therefore, the answer in in this case would be y minus x, because these would be the extra number of seats required by us. If you are still unable to understand the problem or not able to get the correct answer to your code, then don't worry. You can ask your doubt to our doubt solvers. So what you have to do is you have to go to the practice problem section, and then search for the problem which you are having difficulty in. Let's say the problem code of that problem is DNA storage. So we search for the problem, go to the problem, and then under the Ask a Doubt tab, you can go and ask your doubts, and your doubts would be cleared instantly. So let's have a look at the implementation. We take an integer t, which is the number of test cases, and then for each test case, we take a two integers x and y. X is the number of seats which are left, and y is the number of students who are interested. So if the number of seats are available. The seats that are available is greater than equal to y. The answer would be no. Otherwise, we print y minus x. 
and the time complexity in this case would be constant because we are just performing constant time operations.